everyone, Itanes here. Uh, I know Outlast 2 is coming out, and it's October, so I'm gonna play Outlast with the gamepad. Oh god. Atlas contains intense violence, gore, grab- Okay, see this? This up here? This first paragraph? It's your guys' warning. Anyway. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Oh my Jesus, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I played a little bit, like, a year ago, and, oh. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns No, I don't want to do this. Encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend seminar on Fuel Avenue in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, you may see some low-flying helicopters near Silverthorne and Letdo. Seems the Arabile Park Services will be spraying for an infestation station in my city. September 17th, 2013. Um, you don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murakov Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half of the things I saw. Doctors kept talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, Markov is making money, it needs to be exposed. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna cry, 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 I'm gonna cry! I'm gonna cry. Oh. I got myself into. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm already scared. Okay, notes are that way. Okay. sick just looking at this place. Mount Mass Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay, as I said, I played this game like a year ago. Um, so, I remember some things. Just, that doesn't mean that they're not scary though, right? hear Kingdom Hearts in the background, Anima's playing Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay, I remember this part.
Psychiatric Systems, Project Wall Rider. Uh, case number 174, patient initials WPH Billy. Consultation dated 2012-1014. Patient age is 19 and is, not, and is a male. Observing physician is Dr. Carl Houston. Therapy status. Patient claims to progress to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at pr unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocritic... Ha what? Uh, centrifuge again failed to separate. Etherocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM-NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and viral secure bleh, video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider. How massive. I'm gonna die. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I can't. Why am I doing this to myself? Oh, hello, goodbye. Just because I've, I've played the game. I played the game a little bit. I never beat it. But, um. It's still scary, okay? It's still spoops. It's still spoopy. <laughs> And knowing that I'm going to be doing this again when Outlast 2 comes out are just not making me happy right now. Go back in your corner. Oh. Hi. Oh. Okay. Open the door. <laughs> I bit my tongue. I bit my tongue. Oh, I didn't mean to change the battery fudge. Uh, no. I can't remember how to activate night mode. To the battery. No, put that back up. I got so scared I forgot. It. Don't push Y. Don't push Y. Okay. Oh, I remember now. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> That's how scared I got. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Itanius is not good. Ida Chan is not good at horror games. Hello, you're gonna come to life. <coughs> they killed us. You got out. The very. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. Go to security control. Do you want me to, like, put you out of your misery, dude? Like, seriously. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible. Uh-huh, I'm already out. Later, man. Look at me leave. See me? I am leaving. Uh-huh. 
I don't think it was meant to see him. Anyway. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkov scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkov Advanced Research Systems. Murkov's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another million. How did Murkov think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still live the way I came. You need a hand there, bro? Alright. You just stay in there. I know you're not gonna, I just, you know, thought it would be. Alright, here we go, let's get this over with. Little, Little pig. pig. <laughs> I like Luxor. Anyway. And who are you, then? Someone who wants to get out of here and not play anymore. How you doing? I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Make me! Seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112. Affidate, aff, aff, uh -huh. having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Headline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the blah 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 and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required their actions, regardless of responsibility. Uh huh. Hello, plant. Lots of blood. Okay. I recall there's a document over here. Uh, case number 136, patient initial CLW Walker. Consultation dated 2013-528. He's 32. Observing physician Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, notation by Dr. Walsh. Therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to been altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tuatara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seems to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a maniac exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Yeah, he's the guy who said little pig. He's, uh... He's that guy. Um. I'm 
pretty sure I missed a note in here. Because I didn't have my camera up. I forgot about it. Anything in here? Is there like a battery or something in here? I need them like all like now. No? Okay. Oh good! It's Voldemort. I remember this part too. Don't even look at me, Dark Lord. Hello, people. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Uh, I'm not even gonna... It is hot in here. You just stay there. Tom Riddle. Open the door. Go get his badge. Gimme. Something has to give me joy. picking broken glass out of my scalp, a couple cracked ribs. Nearly killed by a deformed giant, looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up in some doughy old man with the face of an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. Delicious. Somebody's closed the door on me, God. No. Not cool, bro. Let me in. Shut the door. Do some hacking hacking. Because I know exactly how to do this. No. No, no. No, 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 no. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. I'm not 
not here. This big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker. Ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. Now, you're probably wondering, Hey, Itanis, how come you know so much about this part? Well, in the part when you go down into the basement to turn on the generators, and Mr. Kaiji will vouch for me on this, because he watched this, but I spent literally 45 minutes fighting with that AI, trying to get him to go away. I would go back in the hallway, and then I guess my timing was seriously good, because every time I did, he'd be like, right in front of me. Every. Fucking. Time. Every time. But I don't care. I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. Not going to do it. Can't make me. It's not a thing that's going to happen. Can't make me. Nope. Nope. I think I've been spooked enough. Yeah. Nope. Nope. It doesn't matter that I played this game before. Honestly, does not matter. Anyway. I'm going to go. And I'm going to watch some kitten movies. And then I'm going to come back. Or something. So, um. Or maybe I'll just stay in this locker for the rest of my life. This is the series, guys. Just me sitting in this locker. Don't care. Yeah, don't care. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later!